Good morning, kids. I'm Barb. Some of you may be hearing the adults as they've been reading the stories of prophets from the Old Testament. A prophet is a person who hears the voice of God and speaks out and tells people around them about what they have heard and shows people ways to act on what they have heard. So these are prophets from long ago that we can read about in Bible stories. But are there prophets today? I think there are, and some of them are in our congregation. And today we're going to talk to one of them, Michelle Shelley. Michelle is Dr. Michelle, and I suspect she's a doctor because she cares about people very much and how they can live better lives. Michelle heard about people in our town and in our neighborhoods who are immigrants, who have come from Latin America and Mexico, hoping to find better lives for themselves and their families. Once they arrive here, however, they, there are many obstacles for them to overcome. They have trouble sometimes finding places to live, finding jobs, and learning to get along in a place where they don't understand the language and where they are often not welcomed by everyone. Michelle, how have you listened to God's voice about the people you saw around you? Well, to me, a central message of the Bible is treating other people as we want to be treated. And I think we learn about that in our families growing up, about sharing our toys and about comforting each other when we're sad. And I think God means for us to extend that care and compassion to other people that we don't even know. How have you tried to make to help the assembly congregation hear God's call? Five years ago, I learned that NIJC needed some help. NIJC is an organization that helps new people in our community who were mistreated in the countries that they came from. The people they were helping had trouble getting to their legal appointments in other places because they weren't supposed to drive. And this was soon after a new president in our country had made it dangerous for them to drive or even be in our community. I knew that there were a lot of people at assembly that were really upset by these new fears that immigrants were facing and they wanted a way to help. So I worked with NIJC to create safety, safety networks which is a variety of networks of volunteers that provide a safety net for immigrants. We provide transportation, childcare, interpreters, or financial resources to help make their lives better. Safety networks is the structure that connects the volunteers with the immigrants who need their help. What have you found to be the most difficult thing about being a prophet? To be honest, I'm really not comfortable with the word prophet or being called one. I think of prophets as being outspoken and challenging people to get out of their comfort zone. And while it's outside of my comfort zone to be speaking uh, to a lot of people in a large group like this, um, my role with safety networks is something I'm really comfortable doing. It's simply coordinating and connecting people who already have a desire to get involved and to help those who need it. And it's been a pretty easy role since the people at assembly have been very generous with their time and their resources. How do you think assembly can help create a new world for the immigrants? A month ago, NIJC came to Safety Networks with a new request to sponsor a mother and her two daughters who had been separated at the Mexican border. One of the daughters was put in a det detention center or a jail in Indianapolis, but mom and the other daughter were turned away at the border. For almost a year, they've been trying to get back together and had almost given up hope. When we asked Assembly if they would help Safety Network sponsor this family, the answer was a huge yes. This showed us that Assembly was ready to help care for this family and make them a new home in our country. Are we paying attention? Are we changing our ways? That's a hard question that I can't answer. We paid attention and stepped up to this one family's need, but there are many, many families needing help. When have we done enough? And when have we become too comfortable in our own daily lives? To me, that's a constant tension and a question we should keep asking ourselves. Thank you very much. Thanks for Thanks, agreeing Mark. to do this to me. Thank you.